What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Army. Studios. Woo. I'm Nick. I'm your own Louis Vida. Keith. I'm Jarek. I'm last week's episode. I'm Mary Jane Zamaki. Be Samil. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Yes, dynamite. Dynamite. If any of y'all didn't know, it is our year anniversary on the channel. Dynamite was the first video we ever reacted to. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. ever our original ever? panel consisted of Nas, what? Jarek, what? me, Yo. Lo, and Keith. What? And we've come a long way since then. Fantastic we've, Five. That's all we yeah. got, man. We've had new people come. Fuck you, then. Some all people right. who've been here a few times and some people who aren't here anymore. Um, Remember, Jarek had started off like Parks and shit. He wasn't even a reactor. <laughs> yeah. was he was, he was a, the sound he was guy over there um, with the headphones and shit. What I will say too I is, um, too I know. What I will say is, um, I think some people who might have been here originally um, and just left the channel when we had like shitty audio, when it was bare bones behind everything, Bro, when we awesome. were young reactors, finding our footing. Um, they're probably going to be watching this video now and be like, oh, shit, I remember I watched y'all a year ago, fucking hated y'all, and never fucking stayed here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like fake shit. I don't like fake love. Well, we've grown a lot since then, and I think anybody who was here before who isn't subscribed should just go back and kind of take a look at our journey and see how far we've come along. We forgive you. Um, hit that subscribe button, man, and go see what you missed. You missed a lot of fire content in a year. Um, if you was here Fire. day one and you stepped out, I feel sorry for you because it's 365 days worth of just we fire ass concert. concert. We so went to a BTS concert. Y'all probably clicked on here. Four months, man. Imagine clicking on here, Shy, Mary J, and they just was like, "You guys are clout chasers. <laughs> you guys are clout chasers." No, we went to go see BTS live. We really. <laughs> really <laughs> I figured a good thing to do with these early revisits is for us to kind of look at the video. Um, kind of talk about it again and then i kind of wanted to watch our first reaction with y'all again uh, and with them and to hear yeah, yeah, yeah. and to kind of reflect on reaction, what our reaction. statements were originally do we still Meta. feel the same yeah. and everything so um like i said if this is your first time here hit that subscribe button if this is your 20th time here and you're like, not subscribed yeah. i don't know what the hell is going on this is like if this brought you back to the channel hit that subscribe man. button and you definitely gonna want to jump on Patreon. Like, like the dynamite. This is yeah. a limited series with some of the uh, Mickey some of the key of initial vids in the title tracks. Yeah. Um, Rise of Bang Tang is on the Patreon. I run BTS in the soup. Live performances, mama performances, everything. Jump on the Patreon. It's a crazy place for Army. But without further ado, let's jump into dynamite. Happy birthday, Army, not Army. Happy birthday. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We yeah. would be remiss not to shout out uh, one of the our big, big redeemers. Members. She's been hey. here since day one. She has been here since day one. And been uh, kind of very, very helpful in shouting us out and showing Bruh. us so much love. Mm -hmm. Some say she was BTS first fan. <laughs> She's probably the earliest army that we have. Yeah, and if we do a major shout out, shout out to Jackie. No, of course, um, yeah. she's she. She's I call her, yeah, I call her comeback queen. Nah, because now I'm thinking that this video is gonna be a crazy ass video. Yeah. And we're talking about people who've been here kind of since, since day, day one, one too. Yeah. Um, Heidi Rebels been here since day one. Jules uh, been here since day one. Who's the chick that always one. says first that never says anything else? Akyla. Uh, okay. Um, Wait, that's not us. Akyla Randolph. Akyla Randolph. The one that's I'll, I'll uh, one that's that always name. on every YouTube joint says first. Hello. Fucking hell. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, and probably some more people. I'm going to jump in the joint and sprinkle out a lot of the love because there's been people who've been here since day one who, like, just been who just so never love, left, man. who jumped we, on Patreon from the rip and just. For granted. Yeah, so it's. Stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's jump into this and Happy we'll talk birthday, a little bit more. Army, about it. Yeah, thank you. What's it trying to your chances? Huh? Hmm? No, not you. Oh, I got that. A couple milk in them. Well, turn, oh turn, turn that volume all the way the fuck up. Let's party, y'all. Let's party. Let's have fun. Let's turn up. I remember, I remember seeing this shit like, huh? Yeah, yeah, I wonder, I wonder yo, how did you feel about Jimmy way back then? We gonna find out. We gonna <laughs> find out. Oh. Like, 
Lorenzo. Ah, não, é a Bruna, é o Vai rechar. J-Ho! The V with the one time for the fucking one time. What a stun! <sighs> oh my gosh. Top five BTS song ever. No. Yep. No, we're not doing that. I think it's factual. Nah. I think numbers support me. I don't give a fuck about uh, this. Numbers support me. Oh, oh my god, you hate math. <laughs> <laughs> that was the class you were in. <laughs> and as you can see, something's never, never changed. changed. Um, nah, we're we going to get into that when we do our top five segment. Um, but I do, uh, like I said, Dynamite is literally the reason why we have this channel. Um, it ain't kind of no other way to put it. Dynamite is the reason we have this channel. Um, I think someone on Patreon broke down the numbers and shit to talk about the new army that came. Someone said it was like almost 40 to 30 percent or something of army right now came off of this song. Well, I found out later on. So, like, obviously, like, the song is a big deal. <laughs> but yeah, this song is golden and stuff. I, I, how y'all feel? Uh, I was it's hilarious. definitely on record. I'm not even going to front, even before we look at like our reaction or whatever. I definitely did not like Dynamite um, going in Sorry. initially and for like the longest time. It really took for the concert for it to kind of grow on me. And then I ended up downloading it like last month. And it's just like, fuck it. Might as well. Um, the song definitely has that cheerful, just kind of upbeat, happy vibe. It's definitely like a shot of serotonin, which is a lot of BTS songs are like that. Just kind of like a real big shot of serotonin. Uh, like I said, it's not one of my favorite. Is is if you go out of like top fifty, it's probably top fifty, forty between forty and fifty. Uh, but that's just a testament to top how much forty fifty songs. Why are you saying I said out of the top fifty, top 40 or 50. BTS songs, it would be in between like forty and fifty. <laughs> 
That's a crazy statement. <laughs> Is it? I think so too. Well, but it's, it I, got, a, I got my list. Think so about, I just, think about it though, right? All right, that's your list, right? Yeah. But, <laughs> but if let's say minimum, let's say minimum thirty percent of army came from this song. How would it be top 40 or 50? Why wouldn't it be top Perfect. I got a perfect 40? reason for you. Uh, you don't want to know why? Because it's my list. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Damn. Share your reason. It's my list. Oh. It's, yeah. I don't I really, like I said, it took me the longest to, re, to really even. Oh, I don't like think Low Crazy. Yeah. I think if you ask Low what songs are monumental or something, that list yeah. changes versus what songs. Well, I don't you speak, I don't speak for monuments unless that's X. I'm speaking for my opinion and like what I listen to. I'm not about to sit and listen to this like all the time, even now with it being downloaded. This, that's Nick's song. You know what I'm nah. saying? We just got like different tastes when it comes to like Clutch certain shit. Uh, the Clutch but, the pearls. Uh, um, no, nah, man. Like it's, like I said, it, I definitely have an appreciation for like the um, production on it now a little bit more. Just kind of hearing that the song, like I said, it, it, it is what it is, but um, it definitely was a moment for BTS, and like you said, it definitely ushered in a lot of um, good stuff for us, so there's that. You know, I think <clears throat> the more you listen to this, the better it gets. Like I feel like this is one of those like moment songs where you can like listen to it and attach it to certain memories. <laughs> Um, for me, it's our Las mind. Vegas trip. Um, <clears throat> but also, I feel like watching this, you can definitely see now that I've seen <laughs> the beginning, right? Because when I first started doing these reactions, I just jumped into these. Said a lot of crazy shit. Insert yes. Um... I didn't know the backstory. Uh, yeah, shout out to Paz Jarek for what he did, though. You know, <laughs> we needed at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the you know, what, what I, my experience <laughs> with K-pop and with BTS is growth, right? And it just shows me, you know, sometimes you gotta move past certain things for better things. Right, um, like what, what? you know, like for example, like you said, I said some bad things, right? It wasn't for me in the beginning, I wasn't, wasn't really for me, I really wasn't like you said, I was just parks, I was just there listening and vibing. Sometimes it caught my attention. Um, before we did the K pop channel, I was always interested in why they always had such a big fan base, um. Because they've always, I feel like K-pop fans have always existed. Um, but that's a world that I never thought I would ever tap into and be a part of. Um, so it's crazy that I'm here. Um, it's crazy watching this and thinking about, like I said, certain memories, certain things. Um, I think, now that I've seen their whole, you mean, be, I've seen most of their beginning work, the middle, up until now. I've, I've listened to a lot of them i think this is top 10 for me um for me i would put this top 10 it's one of those songs of bts that i like i've grown to like it yeah yeah you sound like uh one of the guys the aa meetings when they tell about all the bad things they've done in their past <laughs> yeah. how, they, how they made full circle Yo, i'm not even gonna cap i was gonna ask like are we doing that now or are like, we like talking about this song? right you want to keep changing oh, oh. Nah, nah, we can talk about the song and then obviously when we you know me i just go i just yeah. go with yeah. the moments just go with, I, I, I go where the music like takes moments. me kids yeah, <laughs> I am interested to hear from both y'all because y'all weren't or- it, originally. It here did feel like an anime stuff, monologue. So. Now that I think about it, all right, Payne. <laughs> well, you know, you know. If you guys know, if you guys were here, we're kind of weren't here for this reaction. So I'm just gonna act like I didn't go to the concert. This song is really good, yo. Like, I wonder what it would be live. Like, I actually really like this song. Now, imagine me after the concert. I know this dude is reactions. actually still fire. Like, <laughs> it still has replay value. Talk uh, to him. It's catchy, like super catchy. It Once it comes on, you have no choice but to sing or mm. dance along with it. I don't know. Some people might differ. I'm no, not even lying. No. I think I like this version better than live for some Ooh. reason. Dumb. Like just listening to it in headphones. 
it just sounds better than hearing it at, in a stadium per se. And you hear different things in the yeah. production too. Yeah, um, that's one hundred percent. But this was. Mm. If I got to put this somewhere on my list, definitely top ten. Oh shit! I lied. It's not top fifty. It's sixty three. Oh, you think it's worse than fifty? <laughs> <laughs> you done? Damn. Mm-hmm. Um, so. You have a list? Yeah. No, it's fine. He asked me the question. No, it's fine. So, originally, uh, Nick used to play this song in the house a lot, and I hated it. Oh my God. I did not like it. It was really, really annoying. Um, and I, you know, couldn't escape it. I was even going clothes shopping. They was playing it in there, and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> like, it was everywhere. It was everywhere Doug. Um, but eventually, eventually, it did start to grow on me. Um, now it's cool. Uh, it doesn't bother me anymore. But, but yeah. So I went from hating it to I can't escape the song. <laughs> I went from hating it to I can vibe to it depending on how I feel. Um, so yeah. And no matter what, it's still better than permission to dance. Permission to dance always somewhere like. He said, "Stop mentioning me, my man. Don't cover me, my man. Yo, let's go over to his left. Butter, get your boy. Yeah, butter, get your man. Get your man. How you feeling, Nas? Um, okay. So, and, and now we get dark. This is, sure you could dance to it. I mean, it's a nice vibe. It's happy. That's cool. It's not my cup of tea still. After a year, something about oh, you don't like being happy. I feel like I feel like there's consequences. <laughs> you like. So I was like, I was next to you. You fucking jammed out. You was in the jumbo drive. We've got evidence. We've got evidence. Damn cool, but that that wasn't the case. That joint came on in the concert, and I was still like, all right. It's a good joint. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, What kind of tea is it? I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, still love them though. Still love the group. Still love. Them. They just got songs like that Arnold, I like Arnold way Palmer. more than this one. Nice blend. So, so really yeah, good. yeah. My, I, it really Shout hasn't changed family. much mm-hmm. since we first <laughs> reacted to it. Um, there's stuff I appreciate about it now that I've seen like their work over time. I definitely love what they were doing as far as the the outfits. Um, the vocals, no doubt about it, but yeah, I mean, like just the overall thing, like, yeah, you know, all right, it's cool. Nah, I mean, I, I think the song still holds up. Um, I heard it a lot, kind of like Shy, but I didn't have anybody play it over and over again at the time when I first heard it. Um, I heard it through like commercials. I heard it through stores. I heard it on American radio. Um, and I don't even listen to the radio, but just like being out and about at the time. But like this is like literally right before COVID hit. Um, what radio station? One hundred two. Um, it was on. It was on commercials. Crazy on YouTube. Bruh, yeah, like that's yeah. crazy how much I be. I was out the loop. I was. <laughs> nah, bro, you probably was no, but but that. But, but that's know. that's what we were saying before. Like, if you don't listen to the radio, you miss a lot of new music yeah. unless somebody no, puts you Wawa, on. They play um, but back subject. So, like, I thought the song was really cool. I, I had my own set of words. It was like riding through the city with a little fucking soul. Um, those are my words. That I would sing to it, it's you know. Blast. That's what Kay used to say too. She was like, that, that's, "Little fucking soul." Kind of like, what it sounded like. I'm like, "Yeah," it, but it did almost sound like something that maybe because it was also when that Bruno Mars room uh, when he was like popping at the time. So it seemed like somebody was kind of not piggybacking, but uh, but uh, kind of taking that sound and running with it as a boy band group. Um, but it was cool. Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Or eighteen, actually, eighteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, we, we, really, we really got in and got the fuck out. Wasn't everybody getting the spiel off and, uh, you know. Scorsese and the shit. Yeah. Let's, let's jump into this, man. Yeah. Oh, we're not recording anymore? Yeah, we still recording. Oh, okay. What the fuck?
What the hey, fuck was that? What was that sound effect, yo? What the I fuck was that? That was the joint I used to add, oh, add a little sizzle test and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you were combative day one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it sounds so weird without the <laughs> without the Korean. <laughs> Yo, this joint look like the Saw episode. <laughs> <laughs> Start our reaction channels that we wanted to really dive into like different genres of music. Can we turn these subtitles off? Dive into this um, I dove really hard into K pop with BTS and I wanted to put. K-pop I wasn't doing nothing. Um, I was just. And now I kind of put the rest of the world in. So we'll be diving in with BTS. Uh, I love NCT 17 and a lot of other stuff too. And I wanted to dive into all it's that. It still holds the words. It's, 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 the it's, audio it still holds word. up. In the comments, we can stop. Fuck no. Uh, basically, uh, we'll be reacting to BTS Dynamite. I'm a, you know, we just let the whole thing play through and then we'll be good reaction. That was bad. That, yeah. Why the wall like, looks CGI too? You didn't do anything. You can talk about it if you want to. I was feeling like they really. The comment that was made. Everything they, they looks CGI. I know you guys have heard about it. When y'all hear it, you're going to be like, oh my god, everybody's got one. But being actually heard, you probably never should have been there. Uh, thank God we don't get the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really all came with like, well, three of us. I was looking like y'all had uniform on and another. No, that was the plan. Everybody wear a redemption. <laughs> like we were a little more prepared <laughs> for, for class. <laughs> like everybody had black and didn't touch her. <laughs> I probably, you showed up like, I probably knew or something. Yeah. Now, I don't think he was planning on being on the, on the joint at all. But I don't think the court would reach. He's such a gentleman. That's probably what it was. Yeah, man. You've heard this. I know you've heard this. The video we need to start. I know you've heard this. Nah, this. I can see what I see. I was like, yeah, that's. Those butters? Those butters? This is like the most boringest reaction I've ever seen. We came a long way, y'all. He was very contained. Man. Well, it wasn't even that. He was very contained. Oh, he was, yeah. But like, they just weren't feeling it. No, I can see it in their faces. The how Nick is now. How you are now. You was just wrong like this. Like, this was a lot, man, at the time. There's people who never heard of this music, like, you know. You felt a little shy. It's like, y'all like it? Or, <laughs> they said, burn those tapes. <laughs> Trying to read the room and shit while we watching it. Why is there an extension cord on the table? <laughs> Urban Outfitters. Wait, Jen, why were you looking at the screen half the video? Huh? Oh, you was just the sound guy? Yeah, he was just yeah, sound guy. Yeah. I didn't even listen to the camera until I watched the video. Hey, what you said? Hey, hey, hey. I probably just literally did the same thing during the last reaction. Yeah. The fuck with it. Yeah. Fucks with it. Like, you're like, don't be like. Oh, look, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that drum. can't make the claim that ain't fucked with it. Nah, look. Oh, I'm just feeling that. Feeling that. Oh, you're like, alright, I've been feeling this since day one. <laughs> they wasn't supposed to see that. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. I felt my, mm-hmm. my group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
What was the question? Was you saying the old That's my bias, you asshole. Life is dying. They look so happy. Now you know, like when they hit the loop. That's gonna look trippy, us reacting. We gotta, we gotta to look us to see Lil's face with Tay right there. Zoom in. So it was a BTS dynamite. Um, nah, but who you was talking about was a project. That's 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 my guy. Um, yeah. So uh, they make this. Oh, song that's your guy. Uh, that's like your guy. Was fighting and everything because they wanted these to be biased. Put like. Oh, alright. The first K-pop to ever be nominated for a Grammy. I told you. Um, they lost it, bro. Um, I was early, early. I got robbed. And the track, I never even heard of it. I know what I'm saying. Yes, but they're all boys. Uh, all, uh, all men. All men. <laughs> you still here with us since day one. We really appreciate you. We got some real ones. Oh, no, listen to it right now. I don't know what I'm saying. up as I remember. Well, on the phone, it sounds different. It sounds a lot clearer now, though. Yeah. Oh, nah, I just, I don't know why I remember, but I remember listening to it on the phone and everything. I remember it sounded worse than this. Yo, did you hear what Say that again, yo. Why was I wearing my hat like that? Beanie Nas? Oh, Beanie Nas. That's Beanie. a thing. Oh, bro. Bro. Up, like, two like, people changed their microphones to match Nas' Beanie. Bro. <laughs> it was cold around that time. No, it wasn't. Even it, was up. Like, it was like way down by the eyebrow. Maybe it was cold. No. It was really man, cold. It wasn't cold. It wasn't cold. This is the middle of the line. That's a crime. My hair is that. My hips won't lie to that. That's how I'm going Your hips won't lie to that. But I'm pretty sure that's what's up that they do have that you like. Probably. Right. But like, that's not. That's, no, that's not a straight <laughs> problem. You know? I don't see how you should honor all these people. That's very too much. Talk to him, Keith. Yeah. Club champion. Right. The, thing, the, thing, the thing I will say, though, too, y'all, is that, like, that's, that's not their saying. They they literally kind of did that just to infuse funky pop for. <laughs> funky like, pop. The, the Bruno Mars. <laughs> yeah, for, for American <laughs> audience. Uh, their sound is a lot more. Just they, they do oh, shit. They sound like they in 2040 already, kind of, with a lot of stuff that they do. Oh, I was trying to say they was ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, now, now I want to go back. This is so I mean, uh, in the future, it should have been like, damn, we just now got it. I've just been noticing you know, that one part is like, oh, Yeah, so that was our reaction to the video. That was so abrupt, yo. Yeah, so. 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 Yeah, Anyway, this shit reminded me like when you started. The guy that didn't talk no video. Yeah. <laughs> that was so vanilla. I definitely, yeah, I definitely was green as a reactor, kind of caught off guard, didn't really like know what to. Like I said, I, I definitely didn't know what to expect from BTS because I hadn't heard Dynamite before, oh, before, okay. and the only K-pop I had heard was Love Scenario by Icon and um. The song we had did the AO uh, dynamic duo, um, and that's not even K-pop. That's K-hip hop. So those are the only two songs I had heard prior to us doing this, and I knew nothing of idols or idol music and comebacks and you know all of that stuff like that. Um, obviously now I got three hundred and like twenty Korean songs on my phone over the past year. And it, like we said, it all started from here. So regardless of what I think of Dynamite, 
I definitely appreciate it and think it's been like a fun ride. I can't wait to see the next couple of stops on the ride and everything like that. But, oh, and also just to clarify something up, because I couldn't believe this, but they had said like I had made a comment in there and I called it Jungkook uh, Chinese Mike. I did not say that. I said he reminds, can you say he reminds him of Michael Jackson? I said, oh, I say like me. Yeah. I said, People compare him to yes. Michael Jackson and I said oh like 90s Mike mm -hmm. and somehow they was like oh he said a, he said Chinese Mike and he's being racist and all this stuff and black people are so really I swear to God this is what the comments say I reported this shit though. <laughs> just wanted to get that off my chest don't fuck around with me man it's not too much to say I'm really curious now <laughs> to to think I'm thinking what was my debut now you know what was my all Mike debut as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, um, uh, I was bopping along. You mean I was liking the little bop? Um, at that time, I would have downloaded the song, but I would have. I feel like, you know, you gotta appreciate pop music when you appreciate it. You feel me? Life's what you make it. That's what Hannah Montana said. So, you know, um, there's nothing else I can say because, as you can see, um, I wasn't reacting, but I was there. You know, I'm glad to see that now we have like 30 minute, hour long reactions that we do because it means that you know we really be talking about this. Um, it's, it's pretty deep. Um, that's crazy because I'm gonna be honest. If I would have clicked on this video, probably like three minutes in, I probably would have clicked off. You know, <laughs> I like why I'm like I feel like I'm like I'm looking at it like is something scary supposed to happen? Why is it all it look like CGI? Um, but we 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 came up for real. We, we came up. Like we came up. I wouldn't say all that now. No, I do. I just think we just um, we didn't look like we was reacting. Yeah, no, we came we, we, we came up a lot. Yeah. In fairness, though, that's fucking most niggas' pages. First video, yeah. I'm no, I'm no, I'm oh. saying like that's that's kind of most people's reactions now. Some people who some people consider goaded. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that's kind of their page. Get, um, that was great to see. Everything. It was interesting to see Nick contain himself. Yeah, because now it's kind of weird to see. You know, he'd be yeah. all. Ooh. I couldn't jump off the roof. Yeah, dude. <laughs> 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 so stupid, yo. <laughs> <laughs> they were the the like, I'm not coming that back that tomorrow. His bias. <laughs> None of us would have came back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he would have been like, Chill! we would have been like, yeah, we're not coming back, bro. Sorry. <laughs> um, I wonder I, what it is. It the first couple of weeks, I was like, I'm about to tell Nick I got shit. To do. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, it, was, it wasn't until. No, I ain't going to say this. I mean, it's only like two songs. It could be either be say butter or no more dream, really. No, it was emergency. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. The no, then nigga, that's like the same. That was like the same weekend. Okay. <laughs> was it? <laughs> emergency, like our uh, like ninth or tenth video or something like that. Then that was the next video. That was the next yeah, week. I thought like forty five minutes later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I was about to say. Then that was, was forty. <laughs> I'm not coming back. Forty five minutes later. Hey, I think I love it here. <laughs> Sorry, you talk. I mean, Mary J. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. Um, it was that was it was really my favorite thing to see from watching that is obviously the growth um, to what it is now. Um, yeah, <laughs> like um, that. I, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so I, I, it's really just just to see the growth, honestly. Like Derek said, going from nine minute videos to an hour video. At least you guys, you know, you know how when people, some certain people start reacting to huge things and people are like, are they just doing it for the money? Now I would hope that someone who watched the journey would know, oh, they're, they're not just here for the money, they're here because they're actually like, you know, mm -hmm. BTS. Mm -hmm. So yeah, good job. Um, I want to be an asshole first. Like a real, real asshole. Y'all suck. Like, the quality <laughs> this <laughs> was bad. <laughs> like, just all together. 
So that wouldn't be a bad thing. You said the sound and quality was bad, nigga. You was working the shit. Talk to him. Yeah, but to be supportive, <laughs> we and y'all came a long way, like y'all said. Like the quality, the amount of stuff that's on the table, the places that we've gone, the stuff that we've heard, the support that we've gotten it came a long way. The boroughs that we had. And like from this, who really would have thought we would have went to BTS concert, honestly? After eight, this night, who would have thought? Eight months in. Yeah. So definitely came a long way. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't think this would have happened. We don't think this would have happened. Yeah. Man, listen. Um, if you would have told me like a year ago that BTS and K pop would have been the reason I go to Vegas. I've told you it's a damn lie. But, although, God, I'm, that was, we were bad. And, like, like, I mean, we've come a long way in the sense that, like, you, you, people see more of our personalities now. Like, we're not as. Well, I carried that game, so I'm all right. Look, yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I, you're I, good. I, I, I was definitely I, I, like, I was, 40 points, 20 I was, I was, I I was curious because, like, <laughs> I didn't know too much about K pop at double all. Double so, kind of seeing this song for the first yeah, time, and something was just it. like, eh, like, it's not, y'all know from watching the channel because you've been watching for what, like a year, that I like heavy metal a lot. And that was that's that's it. So when they were playing this, I'm just kind of like, yeah. I mean, this is good. They're talented, but eh. And still, I still feel that way. They're very talented. It's not my favorite song, but we've come a long way as reactors. Um, we've gotten a lot of support in a way that really surprised me. But um, yeah, man. Like we're not crazy. the only ones sitting at the table anymore. There's a bunch of different folks coming in. Hey, so. never talk about it. That's dope. That's dope. Shout out to us. And 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 Redeemers. Shout out to y'all. But, but shout out to us. If you would have told me a year ago, man, I'd be like losing my mind over these dudes and videos and shit like that routinely. Especially the guy with like the green velvet shit on the, the skinny goof. one with the glasses and the cut. You would have told me that, man. I would have been like, man, shut the fuck up. Or get away from me. Something like that. But now... You need a moment? You good? <laughs> I have a moment. Um, yeah, it was bad. Um, it was it was so basic and plain. It looked like we were in somebody's basement. It just it just is so. Yeah, the aesthetic is just I can't get over that. But as far as the reaction, um, I don't know. I spoke my piece. Um, but but I definitely get you guys as far as not knowing what to say and how to convey it without being disrespectful or whatever, whatever. And the fact that you guys really weren't feeling the genre at first. I mean, it's natural. It's the first time you've been introduced and heard, and heard it. And it was like, you ever have a song that your friend wants you to hear so bad and you're just like, all right, I guess I'll listen to it. You're not going to go into it like, yeah, sure. Like, it's like, all right, it was cool. Like, that's kind of how it was. And we're not saying we held you with gunpoint, but, I mean, it's kind of hard to – enjoy something when it's kind of like being thrown at you when your homie grabbed the ox cord and you want to take it back right right well, it was just more so it was the hype that kind of was built up around you ever be at somebody's house and they put on a netflix series that they think is great and you just sitting there like mm. Bro. That, that's that yes right so that's kind of that's kind of what it was Bro. um and it just took you a minute to to get your feet and to to fill it out um I don't think anybody, anybody in their right mind would have expected anything different. Um, but all in all, I think it was bad, bro. <laughs> it was just bad. Um, but I'm, I'm, I love to see the growth. Like, we, we always knew it would get better. We always knew it would get, you know what I mean, um, better quality, better sound. Ironically enough, we actually did have the recorded sound for this one. We just never put it to it. We used the actual camera sound. It got messed up. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, I mean, we've come a long way. 
we come a long way. You don't have the the i the Ma- iMac in the middle of the screen anymore. You got tons of table room. Like the the screen looks yeah, bigger. It doesn't look yeah. like it's just floating there. And I mean a lot of a lot of little nuances. That speaker is not in the same spot, obviously. Um, yeah, we got better speakers. Better sound. I don't know. I thought the speakers that we have were cool. Because they're yours. <laughs> and then they just randomly came up broke. Um, so. <clears throat> You know, um, all in all, I thought it was good. Jarek not talking was a plus. Um, <laughs> Two Keith? No, no. Nah, Jarek know I love him. <laughs> Two Brute. You were visual, that's all. You ain't got the belt today, which is amazing. But um, that's cool. Uh, especially with the season coming up. Um, but no, all in all, I thought this was good for what it was. It's definitely, definitely set the you know put us on the right path you know on our on our journey and that, like you guys said who would have thought like so many months down the line we'd be actually going to a bts concert when you hear people who've been fans their whole lives never get that opportunity it's almost like we don't take y'all for granted no we don't not at all we appreciate i think i kind of likened it to um wrestling fans who never got to see the undertaker you know what i mean who never got to see that entrance like some people and i'm one of them i, I it's I, I can never check that off my bucket list. But it's just like there are just some things and moments in time where once you miss it, it's gone, and we were able to get that the opportunity. So I thought that was pretty dope. Awesome. You had told me based off of this first song, hearing it, that I would have actually had a favorite out of this group. I yeah. told you it was a damn lie. Wait, who's your favorite? Why are we doing this? Sugar. We do. He's, he's a, a sugar bias. bias. He's a sugar. Yeah. yeah, he's a sugar, sugar bias. bias. like after that, that's your time is when he had his bias. Yeah. Sugar Damn, was it that soon? August it was yeah. that earlier, yeah. Wow. Remember, it was a lot of sugar bias here real early on. Um, really surprised. Yeah, I feel the total opposite of y'all. Saying nah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, rewatching, rewatching it back, though, I honestly thought the quality and the sound was going to be worse mm. re, uh, when we did this revisit. And it's actually the opposite. It's actually in 4K and it's fine. It's really just it's really just playing exactly i watched reaction videos since 2016 2015 so i've seen enough to kind of know like shitty audio quality and like shitty stuff for our first go around i actually think it's pretty good because i'm not shitting on people it's some niggas who never change this aesthetic don't care too much about the sound or do anything else so it's uh, i actually do think like it's cool it's just boring um when i am more disappointed is in our is is in our reaction my god have we grown uh from this this was mundane kind of like to say the least um we didn't talk about the video too much of anything we didn't go into the song too much it seemed like i was trying to stare us in certain directions but niggas just was not feeling it um (laughs) it wouldn't play ball at all yeah so it just it seemed like one of those things where i know those first couple songs took a while for everybody to kind of to get right Ironically, I think it was Black Swan and uh, and Make It Right and all that stuff that kind of for different people started the 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 tempo in the room started changing as we kept going. It got a little bit more familiar. Um, mm-hmm. Black Swan was the very first song that I downloaded yeah. from, from doing this whole thing. That was the yeah. first me and Nas downloaded it, and it was because you guys are fucking musically inclined, and I love it. You have good ears, huh? You have good ears. You didn't hear what I just said? I heard you. Oh yeah. I was, <laughs> That's one of my favorite songs. That's why I'm like, but yeah, this, yeah, this was this was a lot, man. I feel, it was interesting. I feel like people, uh, and it's wild too because I, I was just like, damn, I'm surprised why you know these type videos got over a hundred thousand views. Why didn't people stay? I, I kind of get it now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I get it. I, I, I kind of get it now. And if this uh, your first impression. You if this your like, first impression, it might be one of those things. And like I said, I I don't really try to view what other reactors are doing to what we're doing. Okay. I do think that we. I'm not going to worry it that way. No, because I I will say like I, I know I know you don't want to like re, um compare, but we've had conversations before we ever did this, and bruh and. I know for a while there was even talking about maybe kind of even shelving and shit and just maybe never seen a lot of day or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but our, for our first time out, we talk shit about it now, but for our first time out, a lot of reactors who were doing it for the first time weren't nowhere near like this, bro. Mm-hmm. Like their setup wasn't like this. It was literally probably just them looking into a phone, some people in a car, some people in a bathroom. Um, but, you, but 
and all that that mm-hmm. bro to yeah. say your setup means nothing right your setup means nothing your audio is important there are people that's doing reactions out of their car who have two million subscribers just park up at a parking lot and just do it if people fuck with you i feel like they just gonna fuck with you regardless of the setting or where you at and stuff like that i'm glad that our attire and like the decorations and everything have changed What's wrong with our but attire? um as well the set attire oh um as far as um uh, <laughs> well, he hates his beanie um but I'm pretty sure any redeemer that stays since day one will probably attest to the reason they stayed on the page was because of us and not because of anything else. So clearly they wanted to like see the journey, see if we was gonna learn anything and like where this was gonna go. Or just and to clap I probably, I probably can. I'm. <laughs> I bet y'all love that y'all stayed, especially for real ones that are uh, like you know what I mean on every single join. We got people who were literally just army when they came to this page, and now they look at other groups and stay just to hear our input on music that they would have never listened to anyway. I love that we could be a conduit for everyone. So. The craziest part and the part that kind of let me know what you just said, we were at the airport at the baggage claim. Got recognized at the airport as soon as, as soon we as, touched. As soon as we touched in Vegas. As soon as we touched. Mm. Other people were inboxing like, I seen y'all and I ain't want to speak or other people that was like, you know, I'm you not that kind of person. Yeah. yeah. Other, other, yeah, other, yeah, other people on Patreon when they just was like, we, we didn't know when, what, and you know, my fault. I, I know me personally, I didn't do a good job with trying to even set up a meet and greet because Vegas had got crazy when we got there kind of already and shit like that. So, you know, it's like, like you said, for us to have been basically so early in our journey and for people to kind of recognize us already and for people to kind of fuck with us, defend us when we had our gates and people saying shit on Twitter, people defending us. On YouTube comments, people defending us. Like you said, low, you know what I mean? They thought he mistakenly said something else and he didn't even say that shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sorry too, because I apologize and I did thought you said it. Um, and they was in there just like, oh no, he, ain't, he actually didn't say none of that shit. He said 90s mic or whatever. Like it was, I don't know what y'all in here complaining about. Um, but yeah, man, we came a long way, man. Like this shit was really, this shit is decent. I, now I'm excited to kind of see what the other, these other early videos is too. I'm scared. Um, just to, I want to see when wanna, that change happens. I want to see where Nas hat moves. When uh, the next kind of the change videos. happens. The Ray J challenge and shit. It didn't move. It didn't. But y'all good? Yeah, I'm great, man. Y'all know the vibes, man. Like, comment, definitely subscribe, especially for people who um, who just, you know, keep watching and just aren't subscribed. I don't know why at this point. Like I said, at this point, we're a part of your. Your, um, your Tuesdays and your Fridays and probably mostly every day. And they, people sitting there eating food, okay. watching us like all night and shit. So just hit the subscribe button. It helps the, the channel out a lot. Yo, a lot of people said you got them with that. Push the button, man, man. Last time. Someone said they thought you pointed him. Um, the and then jump on the Patreon, man. Like if you really, really want to see like how far this BTS journey has gotten to us, it's a lot of exclusive stuff on there as far as like, you know, just the vlogs, as far as the lives, the mamas, the, the rides, the in the soups and everything like that all on there. Over and a thousand um, hours of content. For sure. Easily. And um, even for the people who can't afford Patreon, um, at some point, like I said, we've been doing our best to push award shows and live performances on YouTube as well. We appreciate the support army and we just getting started. This is a year anniversary. Oh. It feel like you know, the year kind of just went past. This whole next year is just going to be greatness. It's going to be elevation. It's going to be better quality, better content, more K-pop, more of us. Y'all know the deal. Love y'all. Gonna holla at y'all. Peace.